Welcome to Electron Line. Now let's talk about multiplication, what every fifth grader should know. And when it comes to multiplication, there's three different things we should concentrate on. The first one, and it's indispensable, is simply memorization. We should really try to memorize the multiplication tables from 1 to 10. In other words, we need to know what 2 times 1 is, 2 times 2, 2 times 3, 2 times 4, and so forth. Then we move on to number 3, the number 4, all the way to the number 10. And we should practice that over and over and over again. The more we practice, the more we're able to memorize things. And eventually, at some point, you should be able to say, hey, what's 7 times 8? And immediately the number 56 should pop up. Simple for memorization. That takes time, and if you put in enough time, you will learn how to do that. So that's one thing we need to do. Another thing that helps you memorize the tables is to count by two, to count by three, and so forth. For example, you try to, come, you try to memorize the numbers from two to 20. So you, you think to yourself, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, that's what we mean by counting by two. Then you move on to counting by three, and you go three, six, nine, 12, 15. Then you go counting by four, and then count by five, and count by six. It's another way to help you reinforce the memorization of the multiplication tables. Besides just rogue memorization of multiplying any, two, any one digit number with any other one digit number, we should also learn the rules of multiplication. There's all kinds of special rules. For example, the rule of multiplying times zero. Any number multiplied times zero, you always get zero. Multiplying times 1, any number multiplied times 1, you simply get the number back. And when you multiply times 10, you simply move the decimal place over or simply add a 0 to the number. 34 times 10 is 340. And then there's all kinds of tricks. There's lots of tricks to multiplication that help, that help us multiply not just one-digit numbers together, but also two- and three-digit numbers together. For example, let's say we want to multiply 25 times 11. The rule is that you put down the first number and the last number, you leave some space in the middle, and then you add the two numbers together, 2 plus 5, which becomes 7, and the answer is 25 times 11 is 275. This is one trick. Another trick, perhaps, is multiplying 35 times 35 or 45 times 45 and things like that. When you multiply 35 times 35, that is equal to 30 times 40, with other words, you subtract 5 from the number, you add 5 to the number, you multiply those together, and then you add 5 squared, which is 25. So ultimately, 35 times 35 is 30 times 40 plus 25, which is 1,225. So there's a lot of videos coming up that will explain the details of how we're going to do every one of those things. This is just an overview to get you ready to see, okay, this is what we need to concentrate on, but ultimately we'll spend a lot of time in the videos going through each one of these various techniques of how we can memorize the tables, how we can learn the rules, and how we can learn to apply all the tricks in multiplication. Hopefully after you've seen all the videos you've practiced, you get to be much better at multiplication than you were before. And that's the whole idea about the concept of what the fifth grader should know when it comes to multiplication. So let's get started. 